In this video, we're going to look at how to draw tetrahedral in 3D correctly. Being able to draw tetrahedral correctly is crucial, especially in organic chemistry. Oftentimes, we're going to have to draw the stereochemistry of a compound, and if we can't draw the bonds correctly, there's just no way that we can convey the stereochem through our structure. So here's how a tetrahedral in 3D normally looks like. You'll see two lines right next to each other, and then it's followed by two wedges right next to each other. The two solid lines represent bonds that are on the same plane as the screen, and then the blue solid wedge represents the bond pointing out of the plane towards us. The yellow dash wedge represents the bond pointing behind the plane, away from us. Now, if you look closely, tetrahedral is like having two Vs perpendicular to each other. Here are the different orientations that tetrahedral can be drawn. The usual setup is having two solid lines and two wedges. One is the solid wedge and one is the dash wedge. However, you can also show tetrahedral in a different orientation like this. This is like having two bonds pointing towards us and then two bonds pointing away from us. With that, we're done drawing tetrahedral in 3D. I have a lot of other videos in this series do check out their links in the description box. Here's a video that I've handpicked for you. Do check out our app that's available in both Google Play and App Store. Thanks for watching all the way till the end. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss future videos. Your support means a lot to me.